dura, 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 que estás dura, mano arriba porque tú te ves bien. I'm gonna take you on a little journey of a three day road trip around Puerto Rico. Our first stop was in Guanaca to a little beach that was down through some mountains and had some great cliffs surrounding the water. And then we went over to Copa Marina, which is a cute little resort. The next stop was La Paguera. It's about a 30 minute drive from the last stop and it was a little bit cloudy, but it's a pretty cool little place. It has a little pool and um, some good places that you can go hiking around. Not everything in Puerto Rico is Google mappable, but all of these places you should be able to put in Google Maps and be able to find really easily. We stopped by the salt reserves on the way to Playa Sucia and Cabo Rojo and they even had some cotton and it was a really really cool experience. I never saw anything like that. Then we went to Playa Sucia which by far was one of the most beautiful places that I've been to in Puerto Rico. It has amazing cliffs that overlook the water and you can hike along them, you can go um, boating around them, and you can go swimming in the one area as well. So it has a lot of different activities that you can do here. Come and move that in my direction. So thankful for that, it's such a blessing, yeah. Don't have a situation in a half in the end. Oh, oh, you are. My sunrise on the darkest day. Got me feeling some kind of way. Make me want to save every moment. Slowly. You fit me tell me of how you put it on. You got the only key, no how to turn it on. The way you put on my ear, the only words I want to hear. We ended up finding the most beautiful sunset as we were making our way up to Rincon and we decided to stop at this little park to check it out. Then we headed up to Rincon where we had uh, dinner in the plaza and then we stayed at an Airbnb. It was only like $60 a night for this cute little place. Then we headed up to English Rose for breakfast that's on top of the mountain, but it's only open for breakfast so you have to get there early. We went to Aguadilla La Casa del Dorado for lunch and to have a work break. It was a great spot, it had great uh, phone access for us to hotspot and do work. At Crash Boat Beach, we were able to see beautiful views, some of the destruction of Maria, uh, but there's still some really great snorkeling and uh, lots of iguanas and cool water sports that you could do there. After that, we went to uh, Isabella to Surfers Beach, which was decent. If the weather was a little bit nicer, it might have been a nicer view, but it, it was a cool little stop. After that, we went to Jobos Beach, which had the best views, and we ended up there around sunset, which was the perfect time to be there. Let's get 
detalle y tienes el toque, toque, toque Pareces una estrella formando el alboroto Tienes el toque, toque, toque Se cae el internet cuando subes una foto Y es que estás dura, 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 dura Que estás dura, mano arriba porque tú te ves bien Dura, mamacita, te fuiste de nivel Dura, mira cómo brilla tu piel Estás dura, dímelo, dímelo cómo es que es Dura, yo te... And if you have a third day, I would definitely stop at Dorado. It's Cerro Gordo. It's about an hour and a half drive back. And it has some great views along the cliffs. And inside the park, you can go mountain bike riding or you can also just walk. But definitely make sure you watch out for the mountain bikers as well. Another amazing place is this local park in Dorado. It had some of the most beautiful sunsets that I've seen and it's really close to San Juan so if you live in San Juan and just want to get away like a 30 minute drive will get you to this beautiful little spot. Puro despacito Quiero respirar tu cuello despacito Deja que te pica cosas al oído